thank you for this thing we've never seen before. Thank you for your grace that is upon our lives. We ask, Lord, that you'll work through our uh, time of discussion to help us to uh, craft strategy in order to perform our task optimally. Now, Lord, we ask for your continued favor upon manifestation worldwide. Uh, you said you bless the work of our hands. Father, you say whatsoever we do, we prosper. And thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Camera, let's start with your updates, please. So, we were in the Yesterday, we had 98. So, uh, today we have 94 on campus as of now. Uh, total enrollment is... We had 98 yesterday? We had 98 yesterday. And 100 cupcakes. Look at God. They, oh, they said thank you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, today is 94. Um, so, the total enrollment, uh, we have 127 on this campus. East has eight. Um, I'm withdrawing one. Uh, I met with the parent because he needs uh, additional services that we don't provide. Um, so I recommended uh, Easter Seals for him, for her, another center. Um, so they'll be dropping down one child. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, all of the accreditation stuff is done. Um, I do need to uh, purchase a small, like a few things for throughout the whole campus. Um, so uh, Christian and myself just did a walkthrough of the campus and whatnot. Respectively. <laughs> In and out, don't print nothing. Put I what I pull up for one day, come back next two days, then it'll print out. But it will not do the baptism such I don't know what's on that thing to get print for me. Because I, I can't connect to the big one out there anymore. I can't I don't You always do the same thing? Yes, sir. So it's all the prints? <laughs> I don't know, Rodney Jones. I never had out. any issues. Oh, God, I got my own. That's what we're talking about. That's what? Okay. It works from time to time, though. I have to take that. All right. I'll take that. Okay. But but your friend went berserk too, and then you just wanted a new one. So you <laughs> might have to go ahead and find it. And what, what do I got in there now? What I got in there now? What you did it with? Yeah. What I got? What you see in there now? But you had another one. Well, what you see in there now? Nothing. That's what you get. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have something to work with, Pops. Let me check yours out. All right. It's <laughs> <laughs> sad. Well, maybe, maybe you can see if you can get me on the big one. On the big one there. Because it just won't. And she just looking. Wait. I mean, he got me right. a time. That's how he went over bed. I was like, I was like, I was like, I owe you my number. Well, um, okay. Well, we'll get this for the thing. Okay. It was on my mind this morning. Okay. Public service announcement. God has been doing some really special things in Pastor Rodney's life, and we're going to get it on camera today. So we're about to go outside. Let me gather my keys and my phone. We're going outside. Um, Pastor Ronnie got blessed with a Mercedes Benz. Somebody gave this man a car, but that's what you get when you do the work of the Lord. Okay, so let's see what let's see what him and Miss Esther are talking. They need that. They need to see that. Cause if you got your car. And didn't have to pay not one cent, only to transfer some paper. And I'm talking about somebody called you and you said you don't know how to set the atmosphere. I ain't know what they wanted. I ain't know what to do. We just told you, just come on. Get that briefcase and what was in it? Registration. Tell me people don't need to hear that. Yeah. Go on, do your thing now. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yes. I think that's awesome. Yes, go ahead on, man. Do your thing, boy. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, Pastor Arnie, you can tell us the story if you would like. <laughs> wow. Tell them about the ties and yeah. and <laughs> Miss Esther. Yay! Well, um, I don't know where to start, but I'll just start here. Um, I had a 2007 Honda Accord um, with uh, 299,000 miles on it. Uh, believe me, it has been a blessing. I started looking around for a new car. I have good credit, uh, but I wanted to get above 740 to really get a better interest rate. So I said, you know what, let me just hold off. So I began to pray, I was like, okay, God, I'm, I'm holding off, I'm driving this car. Um, Wait, said, you were like, God, you see it. Yeah, Wait. God, God, you see it, <laughs> God. you hear it, you deal with it, right? <laughs> yeah. So the cord again, and the air, the air in the cord, in the cord was not working. But you know what? I was intentional. Every time I got in the car, I never complained. It was hot, but I never <laughs> complained. I rolled the windows down. I never complained. And so fast forward, so now I'm looking for a car, and I said, well, you know what, God, let me just go and hold off. Uh, but God, while I'm holding off, I need you to come through on something. You know, I need a little, something a little bit more dependable to get me through. And so uh, there's a couple that I came across, a married couple that uh, connected with me sometime in January. They were in Port St. Lucie and they needed some marriage counseling. So we started doing marriage counseling over Zoom uh, with this couple. <laughs> and um, we did about four or five sessions. And on the last session, I asked the, uh, the husband, the man of God, I said, so what do you see God uh, taking you and your family in the next three or four years? And he said that God has pressed upon my heart that we need to move to Tampa. Whoa. Wait, did they know? How did y'all, did y'all know each other? No, we, they came across uh, our website, uh, Central Manifestation website. And I believe they looked at a couple of our uh, uh, videos, teachings, and so forth and so on. And they, uh, you know, needed some marriage counseling. So that's how they got to connect. That's how they con got connected with me. Mm -hmm. So we hadn't even met, you know. And so uh, so he said that, you know, the Lord had, had is now pressed upon my heart that we need to transition to Tampa. <laughs> so what I did, I was like, okay, cool. So I connected them with a friend of mine who's a realtor. And they came up here in March, first weekend in March, to visit. This was the first time that I had met them. Wow. So uh, they, they connected, they found a house, and they put a bid on the house, and the bid was accepted. I'm kind of making this fast. Uh, they went back to Port St. Lucie. Uh, long story short, they moved their whole family here to Tampa. And they joined Center for Manifestation. Wow. <laughs> and they Just joined. a laugh. Yes, and they joined Center for Manifestation. And so um, last Sunday, um, I was at, the, at my house, and the wife, she texted my wife and said, hey, can we come over? And so um, I'm thinking, okay, they want to come over for marriage counseling. <laughs> so, you know, I was like, okay, that's fine. Come on and come over. So I'm praying. I'm getting the atmosphere together, so forth and so on. And so they come in and uh, we just begin to start talking. And I guess about 10, 15 minutes into the conversation, uh, the husband opens up this little case that he has <laughs> and he pulls out a sheet of paper. He walks over to me and the sheet of paper was a title to a car. What? And he says, Pastor Rodney, we want to bless you with this car. <laughs> So I'm sitting on my little chase and I'm speechless. My wife's sitting on the couch on the other side, her mouth is wide open. Oh, wow. We had speechless. no idea wow. know, that this was going to happen. And end up what ended up happening was uh the husband told me while we while they were in Port St. Lucie, the Holy Spirit had already pressed upon him to mm -hmm. give me the car. Wow. Now I'm praying for something here in Tampa. God is already touching the heart of another believer in Port St. Lucie to meet the need for what I needed here in Tampa. And you didn't even know them before this year. Didn't know them before this year. <laughs> All right, what kind of car do you have, Pastor Rodney? Yeah. And the winner is... Hopeful, yes I am. Hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. They were, they were, they were the second owners. <laughs> They kept up all of their maintenance on the car, uh, new tires. Um, I mean, let's 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 see it. Let's see it. Does it have a name yet? No, no. You know that's a woman name. That's a what? Woman.
No, I don't name it, but it's, a, it's thank God. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank God. And, you know, and I was telling somebody this. Uh, oh, and, oh, goodness. Let me just back up. I forgot to tell you this. So, so we had our convocation a couple weeks ago. Right. And uh, it was time for our apostles' love offering. He only gets one love offering a year, once right. a year. And the Holy Spirit had pressed upon a certain amount on my heart, uh, and that same amount was on my wife's heart. And so it was a sacrifice because I knew we was going to be going out of town that, that coming weekend. But I said, you know what, God, we're going to be obedient and we're going to sow this seed into the man of God. Per? <laughs> we're going <laughs> to sow this seed into the man of God. So it wasn't even about the seed. It was about our obedience. Right. Right. And I just truly believe that, yes, this came to manifestation here. We got blessed with a car. Uh, another couple sold a $1,700 seed into my life wow. in the last couple of weeks. Um, I got another interior decorating uh, client over $1,600 just in the last two weeks. And so I was telling somebody this the other day. I said, God is not an ATM God. Right. You know, sometimes we go to God like an ATM when we want, when we want him, when we need him. We, and then when he gives us the blessing, we turn our back and we forget about it. Right. But I just believe that these are the blessings and me and my family, we're stepping into the season where I believe it's the overflow. Right. We, 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 we serve, we sow, we honor. Right. We honor our leaders as well as our brothers and sisters in Christ. We are faithful. And so I believe this is the season my God. This for the is manifestation the of the sons the of God. For the manifestation of the sons of God. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thank God for what he's doing. And if you're watching this, just could, but the Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So right. seek God's face, not his hand. Oh, my God. Seek God's face and not his hand. And you watch and see what God will do through your life. Wow. You know how to be like on the prices right, like. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. I, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I'm I totally kidding. That. Yeah. <laughs> right. God is awesome. No, this is this is awesome. Yeah. I feel like so many people are like they only hear stories about this, yeah. Yeah. but they never are like yeah. they never see it in real life. But yeah. you're a person that people know, yeah. you know, like you said, somebody paid off your credit card, somebody paid somebody gave you a car. So you got an interior decorating job, like. And, uh, it, well, I don't know if this is still, but I, I, I have an interior decorating business. All of my business in the last three years, I have not advertised. Wow. I have not advertised for nothing. And there's been jobs that has been coming in, just flowing. That's favor. The favor of God has been upon my interior decorating business and I don't even advertise it. That right there, I'm blown away. <laughs> I think people are going to be blown away by this yes. too. Glory to God. Yes. God awesome. All right. Busy day. Actually, just kidding. What's up, Apostle? What's going on? A whole lot. Okay, like what? Well, um, we just got approved for our micro school, which is pretty exciting, which means we're becoming <laughs> a, a full kindergarten through 12th grade school right here on campus. Right, sorry, I just have to say, you said it's pretty exciting, but you said it with a very monotone um, voice. Like, that's mm -hmm. pretty exciting. All yeah. right, sorry, keep going. <laughs> so, um... Okay, how did like how did that come about? How do you how do these things happen? Like every time we look around, there's something new happening on Manifestations City campus. How does yeah. this happen? Well, vision just keeps unfolding. You know, our vision is to create um, affordable housing, uh, spiritual training platforms, educational systems, and jobs. So that's just it keeps expanding out of vision, and it helps that we got some great people working here that are. Uh, you know that are running on their own to carry out the vision like our educational director Tavis Myrick so it helps that you got people are empowered to run with the vision and make decisions and keep moving the needle forward wow okay what else what else is going on on Manifestation City we campus? just opened our 
uh, our uh, assistant living facility. So Manifestations Assistant Living Facility is now open. That program used to be an adult family care, which is one step short of a full assistant living facility. Right. So now we're a uh, fully licensed assistant living facility. We brought on and added back to the jobs vision. So now we've added about seven more people that are now working for us. So wow. we work 24 hours a day. We have a 24 hour schedule full service to the clients that are coming in. So that program is currently filling up. Um, this again, it, it great job, Renee Kendrick, in doing all the leg work to make it possible. Uh, but it all starts with the fact that God gave us a vision to create these programs. And so that's another exciting thing that's going on right now as well. All right. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, I saw you post something about the tiny home village or something like you were on zoom sure or something did. okay yeah so Tell us we more, have please. partners that are on board now we have beck architecture that's working with us that's currently doing the mock-up of the actual buildings and a warehouse oh. i'll be visiting that soon to take a look at how it all is coming out mm -hmm. uh, next step is workforce development because this is this will create not only affordable housing but it's going to create a viable workforce program where people can come and make these houses and ship them out all throughout potentially the country. So that's going along very well. Uh, the next meeting with the city is in order to get the uh, revised plan approved. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some funding things we're working on for that. We also, we got a unique uh, thing going on where we'll, we're working toward getting vouchers for the veterans. So they'll be living in apartments uh, subsidized by the government. So in other words, the, the veterans won't be paying anything, maybe some utilities, but mm -hmm. that's about it. So it's pretty exciting that program is moving forward and we'll be announcing a groundbreaking date really, really soon. So again, again, the jobs, jobs are being added, um, the campus is expanding and the vision is just continuing to go forward. All right. Do you think that this is something that you could imagine yourself like doing when you were younger? Well, I always knew I was called to do something. You know, I always knew I was different. I didn't knew I didn't know I was called to do something as distinct as I've been called to do. But I always knew there was something strange about me as a person. And I didn't <laughs> like know what, what it was, and now it all makes sense. Okay. You know, all everything that ever happened now makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, that's really cool. Do you have any like dad jokes? We know you post a lot of dad jokes on. Uh... <laughs> Facebook. Dad jokes. Well, maybe. Being a dad is no joke. That's the joke. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thanks. That was fun. Well, funny. All right. What's it like? Like, when you think about where times have come from, I know you probably played play Pac Man and stuff. Yes, I am that generation. <laughs> I am the pinball. RK generation, yes. <laughs> what is that like considering that now you can probably play Pac-Man in 3D and like be in Pac-Man? Well, I'm not what you would consider a gamer anymore. Okay. You know, I mean, my the last video game system I probably played was my Wii. Okay. Um, <coughs> sorry. It was the Wii um, when it first came out. Okay. Uh, Wendy and I used to play with that all the time. And then just kind of grew out of it. Yeah. You know, um, I did have a PlayStation. Uh, same thing, grew out of that. Right. Um, people we had in the house, you know, Xbox. And I'm, I just kind of just watching people play. Right. You know, and then on YouTube, you can actually do that. Now. You can watch, you know, these gamers. Right, play, play Fortnite. Right, Fortnite, all of that, you know, Call of Duty. And yeah. um yeah, I I I've watched a few uh, segments of people playing whatever. Yeah. I mean, but coming from my background, you know, being a marine, having been there, done that. Oh wow. Yeah, it's different to watch somebody play and the one thing that's always in my mind is like, okay, it's a game. Right. In the real world, there's no such thing as a do over, pause, timeout, wow. reset, power up. Bonuses and or cheat codes. Wow, you just shooting and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How long did you spend in the Marines? Eight years. 
Wow. And you actually like went you actually went to war? I've been in combat, yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What well, I guess not what's that like, but what is that like to where did you go? Um the my first was Saudi Arabia. Wow. Yeah, Persian Gulf War. Wow. So I've been I mean yeah. Wow, I guess I guess that's why it's good to like talk to people about um it's good to talk to kind of make those connections like yes pe people play fortnite and you know call of duty and all this stuff every day but these games are actually based off of real life, real life um, experiences yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. so that could yeah. even be triggering to you you know playing it you know you, you hit something on the nose you did and my nephew was a big time gamer. I don't know, you know, about like gold, platinum, diamond level mm -hmm. of playing. Um, he's one of them types. Wow. Um, and I mean, the guy like wakes up in the morning playing the game and, you know, all day long, you know, and uh, they're doing the, you know, the earphones mm -hmm. and then they're talking to each other. And I just couldn't get into it, but I would watch him play. <laughs> and like I said, what I said earlier about, you know, there's no such thing as reset to do overs, timeouts, and all that. Right. Um, but I can see how maybe some of my brothers out there would probably see something like that. Some of them get into it, like, even while they're, they're overseas and on base and serving. Wow. I've seen, you know, some of the younger generations, and they're playing games. And when they're done playing games, they're out in the field doing their actual job. Wow. You know? Some of us old timers, you know, I guess you wouldn't call me one of those, um, can watch that and might get triggered. Right. You know, everyone has different, you know, PTSD levels. You know, some, you know, can deal with theirs, others yeah. you know, can get triggered by watching a video game, whatever. But I, I watched what I watched and I'm like, mm, okay, I've had enough of that. Yeah. You know, I can only watch with so much, you know, because of the, the unrealistic side of it. Right. That's the thing that annoys me. You right. Know, you know, watching a guy getting shot three, four times and he's still moving, I'm like... Yeah. Yeah. When you probably experience, you know, seeing people actually get shot and it's like, that's you one and done. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty... That's kind of... That's pretty sobering. <laughs> that is definitely um, yeah. sobering. But I'm glad that, one, that you are here to tell the story. Um, and I'm glad that you can give a realistic view to, you know, what's going on and what's what's happening. Gotta head down to Bridge of Hope. Like right, right now, right now we have to? Yes, uh, 927. <laughs> this one like, we gotta go right now. You can come right back. Oh, we can? Yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we put this on pause? <laughs> Till like 1030. <laughs> Alright. Because Mr. Bobby will be there at 10 and Mr. Mario is gonna be there at 930. All right. I gotta show them. All right, let's put it on pause. Reset. <laughs> yes, that's fine. I'll be here when you guys get back. On you go. And this is what happens. You, we work. Yes, I'm doing my job, but you know they also come and have to do their job too. So, this is a day in the life of working at the church when kids who had, you know, who were affluent, who had computer systems in their home, and you hear about, you know, they grow up to be hackers, or were the first original generation hackers. Right. Um, you took your phone off from, if you remember a, a dial phone, or the one that would, the rotary phone? Yes. Um, well, you would take that, and then you would insert it, the part, I guess, the earpiece, because that's what makes the, the sounds, what? and would insert it into this thing that fits the earpiece of the, the phone. Uh -huh. And that was, and that is the original modem that connected you to the outside of your house. And that was the original, like I said, it was called the first internet. That's how far back I go. Wow. Yeah. All right, so this <laughs> wow so you started from when microsoft when um uh, apple computers were the big IBM old boxes was, yeah ibm was the yeah and now we've gotten this 
Mm -hmm. All right, so are you ready to form your avatar? I sure am. All right, let's get it. What do you see? Oh my God. So I see the entrance to, uh -huh. I guess, is the church. Yes. Right? So I'm going to move forward. I'm going through the doors here, the pillars. Oh, I can't go through the pillars. How do I? Uh oh, what happened there? <laughs> uh oh, what's happening? Power off? Oh, Shutting did down. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Dang it. Died. Fade to black. Wow. Okay. But that was amazing. Well, uh, okay, so what do we do now? We're gonna have to charge it up a little bit. What? All oh, the VRs? Yes. All oh, the battery died. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's a fail. Part two. Coming back. Definitely. I'm gonna come back for this. But can you see how people like to play video yeah. games in yes. this now? Yeah. So from what I remember, the way I and yes, the way we should control with your with your um remote here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, moving forward, kinda like playing the game, you know, when you're just toggling left and right, up and down. But the fact that when I, you know, turn my head around, I'm like, a, like I can see everything mm -hmm. around me. But that was awesome. Now, you've you've seen South Park, right? Mm-hmm. It almost kind of reminded me of South Park. <laughs> oh my god! The way <laughs> I, the church looked. Well, yeah, the way the the graphics are, the, <laughs> yes. the cartoon like graphics. But you know, hey, don't get me wrong. South Park was a crack up when I used to watch it back in the day. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> don't recommend for children. Right. You know? It's an adult cartoon only. Um, yeah, this was awesome. All right. I'll come back to this. Okay. Visit us for one of two services on Sunday mornings, 8 o'clock and 10.30 a.m. There are so many ways to partner with us. If God is using this ministry to impact your life and you would like to reach others by sowing a seed, text the word GIVE to 754-210-8654. Visit www.centerformanifestation.com to stay connected with us. Also, visit us on YouTube at Manifestations Worldwide. This is the season for the manifestation of the sons of God. Be blessed and manifest.